The need for our technologies and products has never been more evident. We are seeing demand across virtually every industry. 全新 Snapdragon 平台大抢5 G 手机晶片市占，晶片大厂高通下半年财测优于预期，社会华为退出中国市场，第四季营收财测预估84亿到92亿美元 ，EPS 2.15 到 2.35 美元，全年5 G 手机晶片数量预估 4.5 亿到 5.5 亿颗，手机晶片产品总出货量高个位数成长，中国市场渗透度较高。And as you look at our guide in the next quarter, it's consistent with the Statement we made that we see material improvement in supply to Qualcomm, you know, by the end of the year, and、uh, and that's a great news. And but overall, we continue to see、uh, strong demand in every single business outpacing supply. 高通执行长艾蒙透露，外界担心的晶片供应短缺问题渴望获得解决。原来上半年高通虽然转单三星电子，但先进制程良率和品质并不稳定。半导体供应链指出，高通下半年在台积电投产量超越联发科，第三、第四季投产都超过七万片。We have two strategic partners today, which is TSMC and Samsung, and we're very excited and happy about Intel. Uh, deciding to become a foundry and investing in leading node technology to become a foundry. I think that's great news for the United States' fabulous industry. I, I think we all determined that semiconductors. Uh, are important and、uh, resilient supply chain. It's only going to benefit our business. 高通点名台积电、三星为两大战略伙伴，也力挺英特尔加入晶圆代工战局。英特尔最新二十 A 制程晶片最快二零二四年量产，高通将是首批采用大厂。至于与联发科的竞争，高通认为五 G 还有很长的路要走。华为退场之后，其他 OEM 品牌厂加入，将使高通有机会持续赢得市场占有率。新台电视林家伟、沈维彤，台湾台北报道。